Hey, look over there. Wait. Oh my God, you know what it is? Who? It's it's you, it's me. It's the me? final cruise line. Oh my God, and I'm here with Braden Pablo. It says look it down there. there. It says it there. It's I'm right here. It's, oh my God. <laughs> we can do the same pose. Except, uh, you know, I'm missing the hair. And so is Evan, actually. <laughs> So, uh, wow. So, how you doing, Braden? Good. How are you? Um, you know, I'm crazy and wild right now. But you know, we've only got what five more interviews to get through, and the entire yeah. school year is pretty much over. Then we just watch some videos and clean some computers and say bye. Like our Mickens interview that's coming up shortly. I, right, <laughs> Dr. Mickens coming up. Yeah. So, speaking of the Dr. Mickens interview, what has been your favorite? video so far um i think my favorite was by like uh spongebob cosmic shake reveal <laughs> yeah because well. i did that with like so it was spring break and i was just like i need to make a video for cruise line and i we were it was during spring break so i didn't know what to do so i just said you know what i think i'll just do a game review i think that would be fun so i picked spongebob because you know it's something like age appropriate for school right yeah Thank Played you it. for not picking some gun game. <laughs> but yeah, I had a pretty fun time playing it, and making the review was super fun. There you go. I sunk a lot of time in it, too. It was so fun. And you learned a lot. Yeah. Learned a lot about games, learned about reviews, learned about how to put like, them together. Yeah. Look at us, sitting here at the news desk. Um, so what are you most looking forward to next year? Um, I'm looking forward to like uh, being a senior. Having, I only have electives, so I'm doing student aid. My mom told me that yesterday, so that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. Student aid for who? Uh, for like the office. So I'm gonna be delivering like the passes and all that. So, it'd be fun. Tough job. Yeah. Tough, tough job. You learn a lot by yeah. doing that. Oh man. So, um, if you're gonna be telling stories next year on Cruise Line, what stories do you want to tell? What's your lane? Hmm. hmm. That's a, maybe like sports and stuff that's going around in the stuff that's happening in the school. Like maybe like because I heard there's like kids that are trying to start like a the like a newspaper back at uh at like LCHS. So might oh, interview wow. them and see how that's gonna be going for them. Maybe that would be an interesting story. See, that's funny because LCN just lost their newspaper. Lost it. This was the last oh. year for the LCN newspaper. At least that's what I'd heard. And wow. so LCHS is really trying to start a newspaper. Good for you guys. Good for, good for you. Um, so those are the kinds of stories that matter. People are going to want to watch those. You know, sports is always there, and you know, the newspaper is a cool story. Anytime there's a new club. Um, speaking of new things, let's take a look at your new website. Yep. You in the new Evan. New and improved. New and improved. And this is from your first day of class. Yep. Um, Remember we'll that. Scroll down there. I don't know why it's like, kind of like, where it's like a this big gap. Big, you know, <laughs> what Spacing. is this, Wix or Weebly? Weebly. Yeah, it's, it's wonky. Yeah. It does stuff like that. And getting rid of those spaces is hard. I see you're wearing the same shirt. Yeah, apparently. Apparently, uh, you know. Fits how, the theme. Did you just take this picture just now? No. <laughs> that was on uh, at my friend's grad party. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, and then, you and know, then the contact. Yep. Which we're not going to share on like live stuff. If people want to watch, they can figure it out. About me. So this is basically kind of like my my resume. I just st stuck it to the about me page. So I like it. I like it. Very clear. Pretty fun. And we get to the. And then we get to your project. So do you have a reel on here we can watch? Uh, no, no. <laughs> so. Because uh, my reel was basically just like clips of each one, but I kind of like to look at like videos that are my favorite. So what's your favorite video? I think we need to go a little bit down. It's that one right the there. Sponge the SpongeBob Bob review. I think let's watch let's, it again. Let's let's now let's pick up let's pick something you filmed. I see. Let's oh, oh. <laughs> what the what? All right, let's watch the review. <laughs> oh, we're going on YouTube. All yeah. right. I told you computers hate me. It was like, come on, video. Oh, <laughs> there it is. This sponge that lives in a pineapple. Oh, 
pineapple under the sea has been spreading his laughter for almost 25 years. Writing the script was this. The script for that was fun. Writing the script. The food products, to even a theme park section made just for his brand. But there is one thing that people can remember, and that is his video games. Most to love the original Battle for Bikini Bottom that came out almost 20 years ago. And the studio THQ just made the spiritual successor that came out on January 31st, 2023. SpongeBob SquarePants and the Cosmic Shake. Can it beat Battle for Bikini Bottom or does it go into the bargain bin? Well, I think it's okay. The story is, after Spongebob and Patrick spend their time at Glove World, Spongebob gets his hands on a bubble solution from a mermaid named Cassandra that lets him turn his wishes into whatever he forms the bubble into. But soon after he blows a lot more bubbles, it starts breaking the fabric of space and time and sending his friends into other dimensions. And it is up to Spongebob and Patrick to save their friends. I mean, I didn't expect to get an Emmy Award winning story here, but I think the game has an all right plot. And it helps us give ways to explore the fun and imaginative lands that we are familiar with in the Spongebob universe. From the old western jellyfish fields to a movie set downtown Bikini Bottom, I like the look of the game. But it has very linear gameplay. Your main objective is to get from point A to point B. It's not like Battle for Bikini Bottom, where you collect golden spatulas to progress. It helps make the levels feel a bit more straightforward, but it also makes them feel a little bit lackluster. I don't feel really encouraged to go back to these levels after completing them, even though there is more stuff to do. The main collectible that Mermaid Cassandra wants you to find is Cosmic Jelly. It is also the main currency to get you costumes that are references to the show. To unlock more, you can find doubloons. Someone must have dropped them. It is really cool to see these references to the show, like band geeks, to opposite day, to even a goofy goober's hat. Even the levels have some nods to the episodes, like Handsome Squidward as a poster in the movie set level, to even exploding pies shot at you from a pirate in Goo Lagoon. There is something that all fans will enjoy in this game. The combat is fun, not too hard for newcomers, but it serves up a challenge as you go through the story, with different enemies having different ways to defeat them. You have a karate kick attack that is really fun to use and a bubble blowing attack to trap enemies in a bubble. Platforming is great. It's fun to jump from place to place and glide with the Krusty Krab pizza. Even with the game being a little bit under a month old, when playing it, I ran into some problems. With sound cues not running properly. Dead! Way to, t way to tide. And the occasional freeze up when playing. But I really enjoyed my time playing this game. The plot is not the best, but the writing for the jokes is really funny and got the occasional chuckle out of it. When someone pretends to escape, whack them! Won't that hurt them? That's legally impossible. The contracts clearly state that they, quote, can't be harmed. <laughs> and the platforming in this game is really fun and engaging. Overall, this game is a fun trip for SpongeBob fans, and it's a really good platformer. Jump into this nautical nonsense and pick up SpongeBob and the Cosmic Shake now on all major platforms. The Switch logo. Yeah. So here we are. We're back. I'm going to turn this off so we can get back to... Bikini Bottom! <laughs> what a shocker. And it's funny because we were just 4K! literally talking about how, you know, people make these kinds of videos all the time. And they're really unique. Um, there you are. And here we are. So we can look at the camera and look at each other instead of looking back there. But uh, it took a long time to make that. Yeah, no. Because, like, getting the recording the footage, making, like, the script, it's really hard to do. Because you have to figure out, like, the right things to say on the script. Like, how that intro was. I wanted it to be, like, we look back at SpongeBob and we only, sometimes we only think of the cartoons, the merchandise, the, like, mostly the brand. We usually don't think about the video games except for Big Cat, Battle for Bikini Bottom. But like Cosmic Shake was made because like it was supposed to be a successor. It was right. supposed to. So I wanted to look back and say like, does this game like do what Battle for Bikini Bottom did in back in like 2002? Right, and so. it's been a long time. Yeah. It's been a long time. And the, we were talking while this was all playing how hard that is. You got five to ten hours worth of yeah. gaming footage. Mm -hmm. It was like because it takes long to like play a game, obviously. So. Right. As soon as I got into the game, I started recording live on PS5. Uh, yeah, so I had like maybe like hour each, hour each of each clip of me just playing the game. I had to go through it, find like the best clips. So, that's a lot of work. It Overall, is. Overall, how much, how many hours do you think you put into making that video? I know it's a tough yeah, question. No, yeah, no, yeah, it is because I did a lot of like crazy transitions. I had to find like all the clips. 
voiceover was so much work because I tried to find like a balance of my voice because I didn't want it to sound like, you know, I didn't want it to be like, so in SpongeBob, you play as SpongeBob and you go through. I didn't want it to sound low because people would get tired, obviously. So you have to have like the high energy like SpongeBob, you know? <laughs> so I could say probably took me like 20, 20 hours. That's like, a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. 20 hours just between gaming, scripting, editing, finding all the clips, narrowing it down. It's a lot. Yeah, it's it a lot of work. And what's interesting is, for me, I, I look at something like that and I'm learning, right? Because I had no idea what it took to put something like that together versus you go and do an interview over at the high school. I know exactly what steps there are. I know exactly how long it takes. I know what it takes to the energy that that takes to put in. If you would have told me it took 20 hours to put that together, I would have been like, no way. But after talking to you, I've learned that. And that's kind of interesting. Um, have you put that out on the regular, have you put that on YouTube and seen? Uh, yeah, I've been trying to get like traction, traction because like it's kind of difficult because I think the game came out in like April and when I made it, it came out, I think it came out in like April. It was like kind of during uh, spring break when right. it came out. So. Uh, when I was trying to, when I was making the video, I think I was like too late where people were already like, you know, the game already passed. They already decided what they, yeah. whether they were going to enjoy yeah. it or not. So, oh, okay. So but at least I got my like thoughts, opinions out there. So right. That's good. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. So, um, last question. And I always ask people this, if you can go back in time and talk to little Braden, what would you say to him, you know, to help him out now? Um, just be yourself and just be chill because like I feel like I would I, I was stre I would be stressed like a lot I would worry a lot I feel like I need need to just tell myself there's nothing to worry about there's just just look ahead and just don't don't fear for the future just it's all fine and what are you most looking forward to this summer um I don't know no uh, playing golf I'm gonna go to um, Carl's golf land after school today <laughs> Well, enjoy. Play a lot of golf. Make your summer fantastic. I look forward to seeing you next year. And uh, I think we're just going to wrap this one up and say, ready? Yep. Bye. Bye.